yes, welcome back to another video, guys. That's right, today we're back to review She-Hulk Attorney at Law. So I said I was going to review all the Marvel series going onwards from, I think it was, was it Moon Knight, the first one I reviewed? Yeah, and I said I was going to review them all. So then Moon Knight, which was great. I had such a good time with Moon Knight. I had so much to say, and it was so exciting to come on here and praise it. Then Miss Marvel come out, and it was such a boring show, in my in my opinion. And um, I didn't really have much sound on that one at all, and I found it very hard to talk about. And now this show has happened. So, let me get started by saying, if you like this show, if you enjoyed it, then good for you. Well done. I'm happy for you. I'm pleased that you got some enjoyment out of this and you can walk away and say you had a good experience. Um, and, you know, this is obviously just my opinion. So don't let my um, opinions here affect you negatively. Um, you know, this is just my opinion. And if you don't like it, then, you know, that it is what it is. The world keeps moving. It keeps spinning. So, um she-Hulk is the worst Disney Plus show yet. It is the worst Marvel show um, and probably the worst of the year and will be remembered as one of my least favourite shows ever, I think. I mean, it is not the worst thing I've ever watched, but it is well and truly down there. I really dislike this show. Now, normally I go episode by episode. I'm not going to do that because I can't even remember what half of them in the middle of this series were. There was such fluffy filler shit in here. Um, that I, I can't even begin to, to even figure out how I can possibly talk about it. Um, so anyway, let me start with the positives, because there are some positives. Um, the lead actress, um, Tatiana Messalini? Mis I'm, I'm, again, pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. Um, I want to say she was great. She was really good in this. And she also really fit the role of She-Hulk. And She-Hulk herself was really good like even in the really really terrible episodes i actually thought she was funny no problems with her character whatsoever i like the the fourth wall breaking they done up till the last episode where in my opinion uh, went a little bit too far maybe but we'll get to that i thought the fourth wall break breaking was really good and you know we we've we've had fourth wall breaking in small doses in the mcu so far so i, I don't know why people are so upset about her doing it in the first place and obviously deadpool's coming so this really isn't a big deal um so yeah in terms of that no problem whatsoever i actually thought she was kind of funny every now and then um i i, I say the actress suited the role so well um yeah so yeah that that stuff there was all great daredevil so a lot of people are very worried about Daredevil coming to the MCU and there are people that are saying Marvel already ruined him and, you know, fair play to them if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. I actually, the, the episode he was starred in, episode 8, he was really good in. I thought he looked great. Um, him flipping around the buildings and stuff was awesome. They teased a little hallway scene. Obviously, we're going to get that in the real show, I'm sure. Um, and I know people are very upset about his humour, but it's not full-on in-your-face humour. It's sarcastic humour, and I think it worked really well. I thought it was really good. And, my God, the man the man shagged She-Hulk. I mean, it <laughs> that really caught me off guard. Episode 8 was just really, really good. Like, that was like the, ep the episode of this show where I was like, that was class. That was really good. Um, so, yeah, love the Daredevil stuff. Um, and the effects are such a mixed bag. There are some really, really good effects in this show. But then there's there are some wobbly ones. There are moments where the camera catches She-Hulk and she doesn't look great. And again, I think those effects, those scenes would have been brushed up. If, like most Marvel projects, they didn't come out like this. If they'd spent a bit more time on it, I'm sure it could have looked a bit better. Um, but... You know, the majority of the show, it did look pretty good. Um, and the comic accuracy, I've got to say, is really good. I haven't, I've read very small doses of She-Hulk comics, but I've seen so many posted over the internet recent weeks comparing She-Hulk, and the comic accuracy is very good as well. So there are definitely positives to it. And I wanted to start with that because, you know, I don't want to instantly go in and offend people. Um, now, um... I, I am so for having lead female superhero movies. I am so buzzed about Black Panther Wakanda Forever coming up. I enjoyed Black Widow. Um, I just, you know, these these films with lead female characters. I don't mind. I don't mind the, 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 the guys taking the back seat because we've had so many phases um, now of Marvel and other big blockbuster superhero movies and whatnot, not even just superheroes, action movies. Where men have dominated the screen. It's great to see women get this empowerment. And seeing them come to the front. Um, it's fantastic. I just want these products to be good. And here the biggest struggle that She-Hulk has had. 
already is cat, whis cat whistles and stuff at her. And, uh, people making, you know, sexual remarks at her, I believe. And it's like, then she decides to put Bruce down at the start, who's, you know, this, this man has put a gun in his mouth and tried to murder himself. Um, because he can't cope with being a Hulk. He's fought off aliens, uh, you know, he's, the, the whole Infinity War incident. Um, and it's just like, I feel like this show could do better at addressing this sort of stuff than just sort of playing it off as a joke and putting the character of Bruce Banner down. So I really, I, I think this show had good intentions, but it just completely went down the wrong path of showing them. Um... And then there's this whole, um, the character of Titania, the female uh, villain who was just not very good in this show at all. I didn't think I found her very cringy. Didn't really get where her powers come from. And yeah, Hulk, they sort of tease something very cool with Hulk, which more or less comes to nothing. And I'll say this, the first episode was kind of cool. It was good to see her training with Hulk while it felt rushed. I was thinking, oh, it's pro they're probably just trying to get the Hulk stuff out of the way so we could start progressing the actual She-Hulk story. And then we get to the She-Hulk story and it does nothing. You've got filler episodes of her twerking on tables with some pop star who I've never heard of. Um, then we've got... Uh, I'm trying to think of episodes. There was one with, like, some elf... Oh, no, that was her. The Asgardian elf woman. That was in that episode. There was another one about some immortal guy who was a vampire, I think. Um, then there was one where she went to a bachelorette party, a wedding or something. And it's just like nothing happens in these. She just goes to things and it's just cringy dialogue, terrible acting. Like, honestly, the only funny bits are She Hulk. Everyone, then no one else is funny. There's no good side characters in this either. Like, when I was watching uh, WandaVision, Hawkeye, uh, what other ones have we had? Loki, uh, Moon Knight. I could name side characters. Here, I can't tell you the name of like her friend lawyer, the female one who hangs out there for the whole show. I've just watched the whole show and I still can't tell you her name. The side characters are trash. These side stories are trash. Like, you forget that characters like Wong even showed up in this. Abomination. I hate saying this because I, I like the idea of them progressing Abomination. But you become kind of lame in this show. Like, I hated the fact that he just... Tim Roth still... He sounded like Tim Roth still when he was big. He just reminded me of Korg. Um... <laughs> who else showed up in it? I swear there was someone else that showed up in this. I can't remember. There's just so much. It's just literally, you got the first episode, which is okay. The Daredevil one, which is actually quite good. Everything else in the middle, between those two, we'll get to the finale. But everything in the middle is just so crap. There's like no good scripts there. There's no story. And I was wondering, like, when we got to like episode seven, I was like, I don't understand where this story is going. And then you do get to the finale, and apparently the writers had no idea either, because you get to the finale, and either they're like, what the hell, there's all these things that we've set up, but we don't know how to end it, so we're going to have a completely break out of the fourth wall. And I know she does this in the comics, but the comics is one thing. Here, it's like, well, does this mean in Avengers Kang Dynasty or Avengers Secret Wars... Someone could just go, hey, She-Hulk, break out the fourth wall, go tell Kevin, tell Kang to piss off because he's annoying us. And she could just break out, go to Kevin, go, let's write, let's write Kang out, let's give a more easy villain for us. Like, is that, is that, am I overthinking it there? Because the thing about the MCU, which I thought was really cool, is that these characters come together and they work with each other and their powers. Like, you know, you see, like, Cap and Thor, you know, Thor uses his lightning on Cap's shield. They work together and stuff. Why don't someone just say to She-Hulk, oh, you, you could just break out of here and go, like, change stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, personally, I, 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 while I think it was cool in a way because it, it did work with the comics, but it just makes no sense in the show. And also, it's such a lame way to end a show. You've got Abomination, you've got this a human guy who's a villain, and literally, you don't even see anything get resolved. She just goes to... The Kevin robot, which of course is uh, meant to be Kevin Feige, which that was kind of funny, I guess. And it it just it just wasn't good. It just didn't work for me. It felt so lazy, and I saw so many people bigging it up online, like, "Oh my god, the She Hulk finale!" And then I watched it. I was like, y "Yeah, what? Did you, you you you're hyping this up? This is trash. This is such bad writing." 
There were a couple funny moments. The Kevin Robot, the bit where she looks at the camera and she's like, oh, what about the X-Men? You know, there were a couple funny moments in it. Yeah, and the Daredevil stuff was good. How he just drops out of the sky out of nowhere. But it's such poor writing. It's such a, it's such a sloppy show. So I guess I'll summarise a show like this. It started okay. You got one really good episode, which is just a Daredevil set up near the end. The rest of this show is shit, in my opinion. It is so bad. It's, I don't want to say it's the worst thing in the MCU. Because that Daredevil episode for me alone puts it above something like Captain Marvel. Um, but I, I, I just, just did not find this interesting at all. It was just such slapstick stuff. Just, it felt cheap as well at times. Like, just the way it looked as well. Like, the lighting and a lot of the places um, we went to in this. It just all felt so cheap. Cheapened out. Um, and it is a real shame. Because I was really looking forward to this show. And I was really excited. Um, but anyway, I'm... <laughs> It's a shame that this and Miss Marvel come out back to back because, you know, I really do want to have, um, you know, one of these female Marvel superhero characters get a great show. Hopefully Kate Bishop, if she gets her show soon, which is looking rumoured to, hopefully hers will be really good. But, you know, we got Wakanda forever in a month, so that's all female Lee. I'm really hoping that's going to be the one where I can go, yes! Because <laughs> I keep waiting for Marvel and so far it's like Captain Marvel didn't like that one. Um, Black Widow, that one was good, I didn't mind that one actually, and then we've had Miss Marvel, and which was just forgettable as hell, and now She-Hulk, which was just borderline terrible, um, so anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sum up my She-Hulk review by giving it a 3 out of 10, it's, as I say, without a doubt the worst thing on Disney Plus that I've seen, like, original show, like, nothing even comes close to it, like, Miss Marvel was not very good either, but at least there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is just a mess. It's a disaster of a show, if anything. I don't know how anyone can defend it. But as I say, if you do like it, please don't take this too much to heart. I do respect I respect everyone's opinions. And um, I'm just here chatting shit on the internet like most people. Um, but anyway, that is my opinion on She-Hulk. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.